Well, hey friends, thanks for joining me for prayer today. I wanna to ask you a question. Are you a content person or a greedy person? I mean, the Bible contrasts those two all of the time, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation, because a content person responds to life in a different way. They respond to life with uh, thanksgiving to God, thanksgiving to others, uh, gratitude for things that people do. Uh, they're, they're a person that, that looks at what they have and they don't need to steal. They don't need to uh, lie about things. They don't need to have um, you know, this object or that object. They're content. And, and really what it's a manifestation of is they don't have idols in their life. But greed, on the other hand, is really idolatry, Colossians 3 says. Uh, greed roots itself in dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction with what God has given you as gifts or, or talents or opportunities or the nation in which we live or whatever the case might be. Discontentment, this, this greed that's in our heart works itself out in anger and malice and envy and selfish ambition. Now, ambition is not a bad thing. You and I should have ambition. We should like you know, if I'm a student, to get good grades. If I'm uh, running a business, that the business would be successful and I'd be able to take care of the customers and take care of the employees I have, uh, meet my needs to advance the gospel. I mean, we should be ambitious, but selfish ambition is rooted in greed, rooted in envy, rooted in a pride that is totally destructive and leads to disorder in every evil thing. Listen to Proverbs 11.6 and just kind of catch the contrast there of, of this righteousness known as contentment and how that influences versus the wicked and how greed destroys them. Listen to these words. It says, the righteousness of the upright. So the upright have a righteousness. And it's really contentment in the, in the context. The righteous contentment of the upright will deliver them, deliver them from all kinds of problems. But the treacherous will be caught by their own greed. Friend, are, are you content or are you filled with greed? Are there idols in our hearts? Let's tear down those idols. Let's find contentment. Let's learn the secret, like Paul says in Philippians 4, of being content. Lord, I pray for my friends right now. And, and God, we're bombarded with things uh, in our life. Uh, to make us discontent, discontent with the way we look, discontent with the opportunities we have in life, discontent uh, with the provision that you've made for us, discontent with our jobs, discontent with our spouse, discontent that we're single, discontent that we're married, discontent that we have um, children or too many children or not enough children. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Lord, help us to learn contentment and the pleasure of that and the deliverance of these idols. God, help us to be a content people, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if you're just joining us, listen to these words. Proverbs 11, 6, the righteousness of the upright will deliver them. Contentment of the righteous will deliver us from all kinds of evil. But the treacherous will be caught by their own greed. Friends, hold on to Jesus, hold on to his promise, hold on to his presence. He's gonna carry us through.